Well, we've known about this virus for many decades. Monkeypox, misnomer, because it was first isolated from monkeys, is actually an infection of small rodents, probably things like mice and rats that live in certain endemic areas in Africa. And periodically, the virus jumps out of that native species and it can get into bigger animals. Mm. It can get into monkeys and cause them to have monkeypox. It can get into us. And it's been doing that for decades, probably hundreds of years. Wow. And when it did so, it caused localized outbreaks in parts of Africa. But because the populations in those areas tended to be quite small, it tended to produce small, well-circumscribed outbreaks that fizzled out, most probably. And in Western countries, we occasionally picked up the odd case in a returning traveler, someone who'd been to an endemic area, had close contact with somebody who had the infection, and then they'd come home. But what we'd learned over the years was this was actually quite hard to pass on. It's not like COVID. It's not like Ebola, which is highly transmissible or via the respiratory route. It's actually quite hard to catch this, and it does require very close personal contact, usually with the lesions on the skin, because this is a blistering illness and characteristically produces these blisters all over the body, which are crammed with infectious virus particles. And if you have close contact with somebody who's got those blisters, they come into contact with a breach in your skin or your mucous membranes, which can mean eyes, possibly you can breathe in some mm. of the particles, then you can pick it up. But like all things that are driven by DNA and RNA, genetic material on Earth, viruses are no different. They all evolve. They follow the evolution process where as things move through populations, they acquire genetic changes that may endow those things with new characteristics and better characteristics that enable them to operate better in the host in which they find themselves. So unsurprisingly, when we start to see very large numbers of humans catching this infection, driven by conflict, right. displacement, and the fact that we've got very high levels of population in the affected areas, we're seeing the virus evolving too and changing its modus operandi. And that's what's been documented this time, the fact that it's possibly a bit more infectious, but it's also widened its repertoire of people that it's transmitting among.